Oh yeah. Spirit fire. Nice. I love it. Let me get you switched around here. All right, now I got to flip back around. Got you set up on my little tripod thing. Anyways, today's video, what it's about is untangling chainsaw chains. I know when I first started, I used to have the awfulest trouble where it was. Couldn't ever figure it out. I'd get so frustrated that I'd hand it off to somebody else. But anyways, uh, old guy, old timer, showed me a little trick, but it's actually pretty simple once you catch on to it. All right, so anyways, I got a 20-inch full house steel chain. You can see it here. You can see the two loops. See how they are here? Get my big hands out of the way. See? See how they are? Okay, so what I want to do is, if you look real close right here, you can see how the chain is lapped. See that? Okay. Now, I'm going to flip it up to the other loop. It's on the opposite side. See that? This on, the ongoing part right here? So, it's real simple, man. All you got to do is, is whenever you, you grab this loop right here, you'll pull out. And you don't twist. You don't twist them. You just gently take it like it's right here. Pull them apart. Now see that? And now it's created both loops down here. Okay? And if you see right here, it's already wanting to come back apart. What happens is, what, what catches everybody is... The teeth catches. Okay, so let me get real close here and show you. The teeth catches, okay? And they try to pull it apart, and it ends up creating more loops. Make sense? See what I'm saying? So, now, I've got the first one. You've seen how I pulled it apart. And now I'm down to the second one. It's already wanting, wanting to straighten out. So what I do is, is I keep my hand on that top right there. And I take... My thumb, try to get in a good angle here. Sorry, I'll take my thumb right here and I'll push these two apart and untangle the teeth. See? So now I've got a good chain. It's ready for a bar. So I'm going to tangle it up and I'm going to show you guys one more time just so I know that you completely understand what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm going to make a couple of loops. Okay? And this, this trick works if it's got 10 loops in it. It does not It does not matter. Same principle, same way. Okay, so you see how it's joined together? I'm just going to take, pull these apart, just like so. And that's what you end up with on the bottom. Okay, keep my hand on the top part. Okay, and then I'll come down here and I'll do that same thing now remember the teeth's going to want to catch right so it's not it's not trying to tangle up again the teeth is just catching all right look how easy i mean it's just that simple look i'll put them back together you'll understand the concept maybe it'll help you a little bit better okay so you've got that see how it's wanting to create another one see that right there now you got your loops back. Now flip it over. Same principle. Don't matter. Right there where the teeth is catching. You pull them apart. Just like that. Now you got your loops down here. It looks crazy. It looks like it's in a big old mess. But it's not. It's just catching. Right there. Prime example. See right there? See right there where the teeth is catching? Look at it. I mean, it's that easy. All right, how about this? Let me put a couple of loops in it. Okay, so now we got we got two loops. Now we got four loops. See? Ooh, what a mess. What a mess. How in the world am I going to get that undone? Easy. Same principle. I'm going to take this. I'm going to pull it apart, just like so. That loop worked its way to the bottom. Keep my hand at the top. Probably can even give it a little shake, maybe. Boom. That one there. 
Well, you still got these loops. Oh, that's easy. All you got to do is, same principle. Go to the top, pull them apart, just like so. Your loop works its way to the bottom, just like that. Let it straighten out, untangle the teeth, bam. Got to be gentle, boys. You got to be gentle. That's it, man. It's, it's, it's that simple. All right. Uh, hopefully this helps somebody out. And hopefully I didn't make it complicated. I don't know. I've got a tendency to do that. <laughs> Just joke. Maybe I helped you guys. I hope. I hope somebody got some help from this. All right. One more time. Third time's jump. All right. We got the loops. Right? Right? Take them. Cross them over. Bam. All right. It works its way to the bottom. Look at that. No effort at all that time. I mean, it's, it's, it's simple. This is a 20-inch chain. It don't matter what size chain. It's all the same principle for every one of them. Just remember, when it feels like it's in a bind or it feels like it's twisted up, because I've noticed, like, sometimes it feels like uh, somehow another the links got flipped around or, or something that's in a chain, and it almost seems like it just can't be undone. But, man... It's not. The teeth grab, catches it, and it makes it feel like it's in a bind, but it's not. See right there? Boom. They're stuck together. Boom. Pull them apart. Always works out. Always works out. But anyways, that's my how-to video on how to untangle a chainsaw chain. Hopefully that helps you guys out, man. Leave some comments down below if you got any more tricks. Feel free, man. I'm always, uh, I'm always open-eared, man, to suggestions. You know, you never can stop learning. Uh, please hit the subscribe button. It's right down there, and there's a little bell icon right beside it. Hit it for the the next videos. That way, you guys can stay updated. And uh, yeah, man. And plus, hit that like, man. Help me grow my channel. Love you guys. Peace out.